Welcome back to the show. Thanks for sticking with us. There's a chill in the air in West Texas, and that can mean only one thing. The basketball season is underway. Both the men and women beginning their season Friday night at the USA. Let's check out the highlights. Much like the Red Raiders, who have limited division. Great inbound to Tolbert. <laughs> you know, Tolbert in the uh, second <laughs> exhibition game had 23 points. Oh! 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 Is in right there, number 20 for the Red Raiders. The outside shot, though, by Nurse is good, and it's the three pointer. But Ty was consistent with his effort in getting in, uh, and if he wouldn't have worked as hard to get the ball in, uh, we wouldn't have won the game. So. Everybody talks about the 27 points and all those kind of things, but the real big play to, plays to me were getting open on the press offense, giving us a chance to shoot at the other end. Nurse, one on one, and he takes it himself. Great start to the season, you know, uh, with a bunch of new guys, new coach, and, uh, you know, um, it's definitely good to get this win under our belt, and uh, now we can just move forward and focus on the next one. But way outside, that's Ty Nurse showing his range. Oh, 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 there's Mr. Tolbert. Well, we told you in the first half when he got the dunk on the inbounds that that's how he scored. 14-29 left in the first half. The kick out to Nurse. And there's the three-pointer by Ty Nurse. Quite get the handle either. They're wanting to pass it before they catch it. Now Willis with the three, and he was open, and he knocked it down. That's what the Red Raiders needed. 72-67, Red Raiders lead it and have the ball. Willis is going to take the three with four seconds on the shot clock. Oh, another big one for the Red Raiders. This time it's Bean Willis. When we came here tonight, we could win one game or we could lose one game. And uh, the good guys won. And, and uh, you know, if it would have been a perfect game, you'd still be 1-0. And, oh, and it, it was definitely far from perfect. Uh, but we're definitely happy to be 1-0. And, oh, and the tests get, hard, uh, test get harder every single time out. Smalls left of the key, and now Mo will set the offense up. Off a screen to the free throw line. Pump fake shoots. She got it. Tech's got a 4-3 lead. You know, I thought it was a great um, start to the game and a great start to the second half that really set the tone. Um, I like the fact that we're able to play everybody, um, and I just really appreciated our crowd. I thought our crowd was great, and we hope they'll come back throughout the year and support us. So appreciate everybody that came out tonight. Tech leading 9-3, nearly four minutes into the game. Shot clock's at six. Christine Hyde's got it right wing. Got to do something. Left-hand dribble, hard into the lane, shoots and scores. Who averaged three points a game last year. Smalls knocks a pass away. Mo the steal, Mo the drive, Mo the bucket. Lady Raider basketball leading by 12, 23-11. 9.50 to go first half. Up high it's Hyde, right wing over to Bokenkamp. Down to the baseline, that's Baker. Baker spins, pump fake, shoots, scores, count it! What a move by Kelsey. No tech by 15. Well, that's something that we're all striving to work on. We've been working on our footwork and, and finishing towards the basket. Coach Kelly's done a great job with us and breaking it down step by step for what we need to do to finish and with our footwork. Texas Tech leading by 21. Christine lobs it to Mallard, right block. She's triple teamed, turns around anyway, flips one up, no good. Hide, skies, rebound, put back is good, and count it with a foul. You know, we want to be relentless on the glass and force our, force our will. I mean, we've got to be a team that, again, is about easy baskets and put backs. So, you know, we want to be relentless on the offensive glass and push, push, push after a steal or a turnover and, you know, convert. If we don't convert, we want to make sure we can get a put back. Stay tuned for more Red Raider Weekly after the break. What is a teaching hospital? It's the future. It's where our passion for teaching and research leads to the best patient care. Where the latest technology saved my life. A teaching hospital is where I learn what service really means. It's teamwork. It's Texas Tech physicians caring for us. So what is a teaching hospital? It's UMC. It's our hospital. When it comes to winning football games, the key is to build on your momentum. 
Don't let up, keep moving forward. That's my philosophy in sports, and it's my philosophy when it comes to taking care of my finances. Plains Capital Bank knows all about sustaining momentum. They're committed to the customers and communities they serve, and they've been supporting Red Raider football for 23 years. I'm a Plains Capital Bank customer because I go with a winner every time. Plains Capital Bank, strong, stable, and growing. With the area's largest medical staff and broadest range of specialists, some of the world's most advanced clinical technology, and a long tradition for bringing the best in healthcare to the people of Lubbock and the region, we're redefining clinical excellence. For us, this is more than a business. It's a calling where faith meets the future of medicine.